Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a candle unboxing and I guess I'm gonna eventually turn this into a candle review because I'm gonna test the candles out and then I'm gonna report back to y'all. But we got some new Forever Move candles. So let's open them up together. I rarely record in my office space so it just looks weird seeing this space on camera. I should probably record more in here. And if you like candle reviews, fragrance reviews, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my reviews, reviews, reviews playlist. So Forever Mood is my favorite luxury candle brand. It's from Jackie Ina. And this is what we got today. The box has Forever Mood on the front of it. Nice sleek black box. And it says open to get lit. It's actually a really pretty box. So we open it up. Oh, the smell just hit me. So we have Jackie Ina's name in here too. And then just take this one. And this is a duo that we got. This duo was on sale. So the two scents we have are Sip Happens. See the little play on words there? And then we got Floral Play. That's what it looks like. When it comes to candles, I typically gravitate toward more gourmand scents, which is actually kind of similar to the fragrances that I gravitate toward. But I do appreciate a nice little fruity floral moment every now and then. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna pull up my cell phone so I can tell y'all what notes we have in here. Okay, so yeah, they even have like the, the duo advertised here on the website. Yeah, the duo is $47 and it includes these two 10 ounce coconut soy candles with over 120 hours of burn time. I will say these candles do last a long time because I have plenty of them. Okay, so the notes for Sip Happens, which is the black candle. Black is my favorite color. We have pomegranate, chill, prosecco, prosecco, and yuzu for the top notes. For the heart notes, we got magnolia, lotus flower, and orris. And for the base, we got musk, mahogany, and amber. The top notes seem like notes I typically like, though. Like, as far as, like, fruity notes. Hmm. It smells like an alcoholic drink. That's what it smells like. But I guess that's the Prosecco note coming through. Hmm. It's, it smells nice and fruity. Like, fruity and sweet. But you can also get some of those earthy notes as well. Okay. I think I'm going to like this one. It's probably not going to be my favorite for Ever Move Candle because I told y'all I'm more into like gourmand scents. But I think I will like this one. Okay. And let's go to Floral Play. So for the notes here, we got Bergamot, which is one of my absolute favorite notes in anything. Rosebud and Gardenia. And then for the heart notes, we got Orange Flower, Iris, Violet, and Mugget. For the base notes, we got White Cedar and Rose Blossom. If I had to guess, I'm probably gonna like sip happens a little more, but let's go ahead and smell this one. That gardenia and rose is coming through so strong. Definitely floral. Like I can understand the name floral play because it smells completely floral. Okay, this is probably gonna go in my bathroom. Because it reminds me of like just one of those bathroom soapy scents. But if you like any type of fresh floral scents, this might be the candle for you. But I'm going to burn both of these and then I'm going to get back with y'all on my final impressions on these. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, it is now a day later and I've had enough time to properly test out Sip Happiness and Floral Play. And I will have to say my initial impressions were correct. I do like Sip Happiness way better than I like Floral Play. Honestly, Floral Play turned even more so floral when I started to burn it. And I don't really like, I don't know how I said this about 10 times in this video. I don't really like scents that are too heavy on the floral. But if you are into floral scents, this is definitely a good candle for you because the throw on this was actually amazing i think the throw on this one was actually more noticeable than the one from sip happens but yeah this is definitely too floral for me so you know what i know now would i buy this one again definitely not but sip happiness 
it was a good candle too but also really not my preference but if you like candles that are fruity but like also have like this boozy vibe to it as well this would be a good one i think this candle would be perfect if you were like throwing a party or something just because it, it's like it's nice fruity and like it has like a boozy vibe to it so if you're at an event or something that got liquor <laughs> um i feel like this candle will complement it well because it definitely smells like some alcohol well, i guess hence the name sip happiness but also know what i know now would i buy this candle again probably not but i do like it better than i like for a play but honestly though this duo it wasn't for me but i definitely think people will like these candles even though it wasn't for me per se but if you tried this duo what do you think of it let me know in the comments below but i will see you back here for my next video bye